on X at all. Which, to me, like, part of me wanted to respond back and be like, the polite thing to do when someone offers to do something nice for you is to say thank you. <laughs> you know, I wanted to teach her fucking manners, because, like, even if, like, if some, some dude or girl, either way, that I don't know, never met before but i know is in this D, &D group is often like hey you know i heard i heard money's tight if you if you ever want to ride i'm more happy to give you a ride you know i would you know i wouldn't be like even if i was like mm, fuck no <laughs> that's not gonna happen never even if i was thinking that how i would respond how i think a decent nice human being should respond uh let's say let's say the scenario is no fucking way in hell i wouldn't want to ride from anybody let's say that i would say like hey you know i appreciate the offer but i got it figured out uh i got it figured out and uh, and i'll be good but i really appreciate the offer that's a fucking nice way to respond to somebody <laughs> uh you know even if it's like fuck no you know even if it's fuck no that's, you know, you can still respond that way, and then if the person keeps just texting you for no reason after that... Okay, I can do that. I don't know. I don't know who that is. Some one of my friends. I don't know. I don't know them, I think. I think. I don't know. Anyways, we need Venom Stingers. Venom Glands. Let's go kill some of those bitches. Oh. Do you guys got the Venom Glands? Yes, you do. The Cruster Buster, motherfucker. Burster. I like Buster better. Anywho. Sh you shadow lock me with a charge? That is actually a pretty handy... That was actually a really handy move there to be able to silence with your charge and lock that spell class for a while. That's actually really useful. But annoying. Anywho. Annoying to deal with, but really useful when it's on your side. Um, so... You know, like, <sighs> yeah, but well, like I was saying, if the person then continues to text you after that, just even if it's just like, hey, uh, you know, what are you up to? What do you like? What are you doing? Then that would be too far. It's like, I don't know you, man. Fuck off. You know, I appreciate the offer, but fuck off. Then that would be, yeah, that would be creepy. That would be too far. But I haven't. Like, I just offered that invitation out there did not text anything like hello are you there or what's up or anything like that no no text just offer that out there and that was it so like I, I would understand if I continue to pester her then that would be like yeah block this person I don't even want to show up to DD anymore I would understand that 100% completely but I'm just afraid these guys are gonna charge me the last one didn't charge me this one didn't charge me but I just like I don't want to cast my, uh, what's it, my vampiric touch if they're gonna charge in on me and block me out. But, I don't know. Maybe we'll take the risk, who knows. Big monster motherfuckers down here. Um, so yeah. I just, again, I don't blame her. I blame our society. It's just, even... Even... Even so, like... That's just rude, man. Like... Like, when someone offers you some- oh god. <laughs> Hi! How are you? Uh, when someone offers you, like, something that nice is the hey, I don't mind spending the extra gas money when money's tight for a complete stranger I don't even know. You know, I feel like it's just so super fucking rude to just ignore them. Just to ghost them. And I'm not even interested in them getting ghosted, man. <laughs> the fuck is this shit? So, you know, my- I'm just extending out to women. Like, break, bring the walls back a little bit, you know? Like, don't don't bring your wall down. Don't bring that protective wall down. But just, like, tune it back, like, one degree. And just know that every guy isn't just out there to fuck you. A lot of them are, but not every guy, you know what I mean? Do you know? Or to kill, or murder, and rape your corpse. You know, not that's not every guy, okay? <laughs> you know? Like, of course I'm not interested in this person. I've never fucking met them. 
Like, if, if they think it was like a hit on them or something, then I gotta be like, you arrogant motherfucker. Like, that is just insulting to me as like, he's a male, obviously he just hears female named this and he wants to fuck it. Like, that I would be absolutely fucking insulted and I'm never insulted. But that's just like, uh, obviously he has a penis, he wants to fuck anything with a female name, like, that's just insulting. So I gotta assume it's the other one, the uh, creepy might kill me kind of shit, you know? And that's just like, you know, like, I would understand that if I kept pestering you, but just an uh, innocent offer of giving you a ride once you get to know me, not even just randomly, like, before you've even seen me, I'm gonna give you a ride. Like, for 50, 60 minutes, just the two of us. You know, no, it's like, once you get to know me, and you you feel comfortable to make a yes or no decision on whether you would like, you would be willing to sit in a car for an extended period of time with me, then then I would be more than happy to give you a ride. You know, it's just just fucking upsets me that our society is this like fuck everyone, everyone for themselves. I don't trust anything or anyone. You know, I just I hate that. That's where it's you. Fudge faced fucker. <laughs> I'm just sad that this this is where our society has come down to. I got it off. Ah, fuck you. You can't silence me, bitch. Yeah, it's just sad that that's where our society's at. Like that just makes me upset, you know. That it's just like you can't even offer to give someone a ride anymore without like, you know, obviously if a stranger gives you a ride, I'd be a little guarded too. But, like, you can't even offer to do a nice favor for someone after they get to know you without it being like, oh my god, they're gonna fucking kill me in their car and no one's ever gonna find my body ever again. You know, it's just. It's just sad that that's where our society has gone to. But there's a lot of fucking crazy people out there, so. You know, it's just. It's unfortunate, really. I mean, it's not unfortunate that, you know, the event happened to me. It's unfortunate that, you know, that's just where we've... Who the fuck is Grulok and why am I touching his sack? I'm not sure how I feel about this one. I'm not gonna lie to you. Really not gonna lie to you. Yes, arena area. Get me out of here. This is one of the arena maps. Uh, in case you didn't know. If you've never done arena kind of stuff. I don't know if they still use it. I guess so. But who the fuck knows. I hope it doesn't PvP me after... I get out of its area of influence. I don't think Arena does, because it's like you can fight anyone, so it's not necessarily enemy versus enemy, it can be ally versus ally. So. Why am I still flag? <laughs> you. Whore. Who are you? Chort. Hi, Chort. So, yeah. So, that's uh, something that happened. Haven't met her yet, but already not getting a good vibe from her. Already, I'm already having to be like, okay, you know, just understand that this is society's, what society has, you know, created for us. Where the fuck is this? Oh, okay. All right, I'll fucks with that later, maybe. maybe. I don't know. There's a lot. I got a lot of fucking quests, which I like. Don't get me wrong. I really like that. Hey, what's up, man? Son of Gruel. Do I gotta kill you? Oh, yeah, I'll kill you. I'll, I'll kill the shit out of you. No offense, dude. It's just like... Your challenge. I like I like a challenge. Like, like, well, I mean, it won't be much of a challenge. But more of a challenge than I usually get. I'll give you that for credit there. I'm even summoning my uh, Shadow Fiend. That's like how much respect I'm giving you right now. You should really take that in consideration and appreciation, really. Uh, yeah. But DD has been good. I really like my character. Uh, it, it's hard to convey to people because uh, it's hard and it's not hard. Because some people have already made the mistake that my character is dumb. She is not dumb. She has above average intelligence. I think she has like a 12 or 14 intelligence and you know standard commoner is like 10 intelligence so I mean she is intelligent she's definitely not stupid um, nice 
Thank you. And yeah, the other one's over here. Stay away from the fucking arena. Get me out of here. Let's circle way around it, huh? Um, yeah, because it's, it's just, you know, she's naive. She's very naive. She believes that everyone should be nice to each other. Uh, and pretty much everything happens for a reason. So she has really no reason to, you know, get uptight. And she's not, she's never lived amongst humans. So she does, you know, she's, she's only lived with Oriads and, um, what's it called? Uh, uh and, uh, dwarfs. Trap, mountains. Okay. You can do. Since the other ones are here. We go straight up. Um, yeah, she's only lived amongst Oriads and dwarfs. And not the dwarfs that mingle with humans, the dwarfs that just live in the mountainside. That don't mingle with humans that often, unless it's like trade and whatnot. So she's just never understood human concepts and traditions and ways. So she has absolutely no idea what things like sarcasm and fear and uh, trickery and anything like that. She has no idea because she's never grown up around it. She's only grown up around people that say what they mean what and say it very <laughs> bluntly. <laughs> no sarcasm, no nothing. They tell you exactly how they feel all the, the time. <laughs> so, you know, she doesn't understand certain concepts like that and someone in the group, which I mean, I've played with before and he's you know, it would be him that would make this mistake. Um, but he's, uh, yeah, he made the mistake, like, thinking that she was on intelligence. Like, no, she's pretty intelligent. She's way above average in intelligence. She just is naive. She doesn't understand what these things are. <laughs> it's, it's like, it's like, the, it's ig it, the ignorance of, say, hi, you, I need to take out. I remember you from before. Uh, it's like the ignorance of, thinking like someone from Asia who just doesn't really understand our ways and culture is stupid because they can't figure out something that's super simple for us. It's like, they're not stupid. They just have never, ever, ever been exposed to this in their entire life. It's not their way, you know? So, someone's already made that mistake, which is funny because it's kind of like, kind of becomes like reality in that way. Because, you know, it's like it's like a lesson for real life. It's like, just don't assume because someone's naive and doesn't understand certain concepts that they're stupid. Not the same thing. It just all depends what you've been raised up around and what you haven't. So, D&D &D teaches real life experiences and how to deal with people who are different than you. <laughs> Not deal with, deal, come together with people who are different than you. So... You know that's happened, but I think I've I found a perfect balance to where like she is a good, kind-hearted person, uh, and just wants everybody to be happy. But she isn't technically good; she's just neutral, and it's her goal in life pretty much to keep the balance of nature intact. So a lot of things that I say kind of sound sarcastic, but she doesn't know what sarcasm is. It's not sarcastic, but it's funny because you realize when you say everything like straightforward, sometimes it comes across as sarcastic. Like I really wish I had an example for you, but uh, just maybe kind of think it out. But if think like start saying stuff like really bluntly, from a point of view to where you don't understand the social norms and everything you say, well, not everything, but a lot of things you say kind of come out sarcastic. When it wasn't, it's not sarcastic at all. You're being a hundred percent truthful. It's just you're very blunt and straightforward about it. So straightforward to the point where it's like they gotta be sarcastic and fucking with me, right? There's no way. But no, there, yes way. Everything she says is a hundred percent honest and hundred percent what she says is what she means. So it sounds sarcastic, but it's not. <laughs> it's a hundred percent not. Uh, let's see if I can think of an example. Right, okay, let's, let's go with this. It's a little bit of an example. So, we were starting off with a uh, kind of a opener campaign. 
from uh, I think it's like a 3.0 um, D and D campaign. At least the starter is or something. Uh, so you know, it's a little crazy. Things are a little fucking strong. That you gotta fight, and our DM doesn't hold any punches. We almost all died twice at level one. Um, <laughs> it has not been an easy start, but it's been fun. It has definitely been fun. Hello, who are you? Can we be friends? So pretty much, I don't know if any of you run this campaign, but it's pretty interesting. Release the starting campaign. Um, starting scenario I guess I would call it but we go to this town um, because we're all kind of you know adventures mercenaries if you will ah oh, yeah the mask I remember that quest line I would definitely deal with that here um, do I need to take you out too? scale wings right? yeah yeah I need scale wings too you're so big I don't know where the fuck you are in space and area around me um, yeah, so we show up to this town because it says, like, you know, adventurers wanted to take care of a problem or some shit like that. Uh, so we go there and we find out that there's this, like, wolf, like, giant ass fucking wolf that keeps showing up. And it kept showing up and killing off the townspeople, so they do some stupid ass religious uh, ritualistic sacrifice once every three days to keep the beast away and keep the beast happy so that it only sacrifices one person instead of destroying the whole fucking town in one night it takes one person every three days uh, so we show up this guy's who's giving us the quest to help and stuff it's his daughter that's up for sacrifice and whatnot and uh, you know because I'm not I'm not going to pursue uh, presume like my character understands like that what's going on is wrong but I have to, I'm phrasing it in a way that's like, here's how my character would help you. <laughs> so I asked straight up, like, you know, do you feel that it is time for your daughter to go? Because, because the the what brings Sona, my character, Sona to action to fight is when someone tries to fuck with nature, which is try to the mess with the natural order of life and progression because nature says when it, it determines when it's time to go if anyone like she doesn't hate any evil aligned character any evil aligned anything she has nothing against you if you're good lawful neutral evil she has nothing against you but if you try to take a life before it's that that life's turn you're fucking with nature you're fucking with the natural order of nature and you must be stopped that's how she sees things uh so it might sound maybe sound like you know sarcasm when you're asking a father do you think it's your daughter daughter's time to die <laughs> you know and then he and then his response was like do you see her out there is she breathing <laughs> like is, is she talking is she breathing and you know my character just stopped for a second and like actually seriously pondered what he was asking her because she doesn't understand what sarcasm is <laughs> so she's she thought about it she's like yes yes I did see her do that yes and that might that might to others sound like sarcasm like oh yeah yeah I think I was all doing that mm, you know that might sound like sarcasm to others but she literally <laughs> complete was completely serious about thinking like did I see that is that something I saw happen Yes, yes, that is something that was happening, you know? So it's it sounds like sarcasm when it comes out. Like, everything you say sounds like sarcasm, but it's not. <laughs> like, when you truly don't understand how certain concepts work, and you're blunt about everything, it sounds like sarcasm. And, and I'm just waiting for anyone to call me on it, you know? Because the second that anyone is like, wow, way to be sarcastic with them, my my response is going to be to just look at them confused, like, what is sarcasm? You know? <laughs> I'm just waiting for that that chain of events to take place. Because it's going to be my... I'm just waiting for that response of, what is sarcasm? <laughs> and they're going to look at me like, are you fucking with me? And I'm like, what? What? The, what? <laughs> so, you know... So it's fun. I really enjoy playing her as a character. 
she's not ready to take off yet. She, she's strong. I put a lot of points into her strength.